What's up guys? So today we're checking out a whole bunch of EDC gear, mostly knives, but there are some other stuff. Now, any one of these things you can individually buy, but these are from Monthly Knife Club, which is a subscription package that you can pay for to get monthly gear. Now, that being said, I messed up last month. I wasn't able to do it because I had some issues. So we're going to check out uh, the, this month's and or the previous month's and this month's package now we're gonna go try to go down the line in order as possible i don't have everything there was a couple things that, that were missing so this is kind of just like a sneak peek at some of the stuff um like this gerber like this gerber slip joint and it has a scandy grind it actually is pretty cool you know i'm normally not a fan of gerber stuff but this is not bad this is pretty cool i don't know We'll check it out. I'm not sure the exact, what does it say? Um, the value is $40, $39.99. Um, I'm not sure what steel it is. It says natural micarta. It is a micarta. Um, not the highest grade micarta, but it's slim. It's definitely ergonomic. You know, a Scandi ground blade, man, they can get incredibly sharp. And this one is very sharp. It does have a half stop and it has, you know, fuller for a pull tab fairly easy pull so this is going to be good for anybody who likes slip joints but might have you know uh finger issues this will be very easy to open up and close and my favorite part besides you know it being a knife it has a clip i love to see that um so that's the first thing also you know we checked out the hologram sticker that would have been in the box as well now we also have um really quick a coast edc flashlight as you can see, and you can see right here, it has 370 lumens with 449 feet range. You know, it's an aluminum, at least it feels aluminum. It um, feels fairly lightweight. It's got a tail switch on it. You can turn it on and off. You can do the zoom in. So you can spin this and make it, you know, like a flood or a beam, either one. And yeah, it's it's not like a super premium flashlight, but a lot of people don't like premium flashlights. They absolutely don't want a premium flashlight that, that might drop, get broke or whatever. You know, th this will be plenty powerful and, you know, you can always just replace the batteries. It's not, I don't think it's rechargeable. No, it's not rechargeable, but it is uh, storm proof and dust resistance. <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty cool. You know, a flashlight always comes in hand and it does have a clip on it as well. The next thing, you know, really quick, you know, we'll get to all the knives. Glow sticks. It came with some glow sticks. And I already gave some to my, my nephews to play with. That's why I'm missing a couple. And these are good to just have, you know, in, in a pack, in a bag for, for many different reasons. Um, you know, maybe you're hiking and you want to be able to see the, the people you're with. They can all hang a glow stick. You know, they can be just for fun. They can be, you know, at a campsite or something like that. There's lots of reasons why you might use a glow stick so it's cool to have a few of them laying around now the next thing now um i'll be honest i don't have a, a, the rest of the stuff from the advanced plan so there would have been much more in the advanced plan um you see i showed you the few things i had but we're next going to the premium plan which adds in so you would have gotten that stuff plus this kubi Kubi does a really good job. I actually used to have one of these. Um, it's super, super snappy. I have full videos on this one from a long time ago. I wouldn't even go watch it if I was you uh, because, you know, it's just, it's such an old video. I don't, man, uh, I don't even know uh, how it looks or anything. So it's probably, you know, probably shows you uh, a good example of how, how far the channel's gone. But very snappy man I, I always liked how snappy this knife was good access to the lock bar very smooth on the drop it's a little chunky guy but you can get a full four finger grip it's just it's tight you know but it's so chunky that you can do that the g10 does look like my carta a little bit uh great texturing then you have a tanto blade shape in d2 steel blasted finish um great edge perfect jimping on the flipper tab and man you break that detent this thing kicks very very snappy but yeah like i said this is one i've i've always liked from kubi you know especially for a little stubby compact knife 
Okay, so the next one would be the ultimate plan. So every time we go up another plan, you get all, everything from the previous plan. So if you would have, so the first things we checked out would have been in the advanced plan. Then the next one, the premium plan, which we just checked out from the Kubi, that would have went into that package as well. Now we're moving on to the ultimate plan, which has the Kaiser Cutlery mini sheepdog sure a lot of you guys know the follow the channel no i have a lot of sheepdogs i've you know shown sheepdogs for a long time i like this knife um it comes in so so many different options this is the premium one this is the premium mini one so there's flipper tab removable ones there is crossbar lock ones there's liner lock there's frame lock there's button lock there's large there's extra large there's small there are so many different versions of this with all different handle materials so pretty much whatever flavor you want you can get the sheepdog in but damn it this thing has such a good detent i mean it is just snappy even my other one that i have is the same way man so 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 snappy this does come you can get the titanium one in a large with the same handle just a large one with a hole deployment instead of a flipper look at how smooth that is for such a small light blade damn near guillotine and i can reverse flick it so while the detent is tuned very well for the flipper tab i can easily reverse flick it sheep's foot blade s35 vn blade steel great geometry i can get like a three and a half finger grip you know maybe like a three finger grip but this is where this knife shines you put your little your finger right there on that little divot for opening things up going down the side of a box you know breaking things down and the large one in my opinion is a is a um car is a cardboard destroyer i mean that thing just blazes through cardboard it's a great knife if you have some cardboard to break down this one's going to be a little bit more compact but and i'll be honest i used to think that this knife was a novelty knife and kara would tell me you know like how how good it was because she was you know using it at work and i had never carried it or used it um this was before we ever got a large one or anything it was just when we had the mini because i think that was the first one anyways so I wound up taking it to work one day, and man, I wound up loving it, so she was right. Now, the next plan I don't have. I did not get this piece, which is the CRKT. Uh, it's a folding knife, so we're not going to talk about that, but that would have been in the package if you got that one. You'd have gotten everything previously as well, but we did get, I did get this one, so tier two, and that is this Baron Sons knife. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of Baron Sons. Um, I do think they have a couple good models that I think are reasonably priced. These are supposed to be, I don't know if they're USA made or just assembled in the USA, but they claim to be USA made. Um, I know in order to have that title, it just has to be like 51% made in the USA, but I personally don't like this knife at all. It has no detent. You can build up pressure in snap, kind of. Um, it's more of a thumb stud knife. I don't even know why there's a flipper tab on it. And you can pull down the, uh, the crossbar and swing it out. I like crossbar lock knives, but they just did not tune a detent on this. So it's, it's difficult to, to use. Then you have jimping on top of jimping on top of jimping. <laughs> there is so much. I mean, it's, it's nice, sharp jimping, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I imagine if you had to bear down on it, it would start getting irritating. It does have a hollow ground, drop point blade, D2 steel with a coated finish. So you're not going to have to worry about corrosion as much. The handle material is FRN. Um, it does have full steel liners and a deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws. Hey. They, they got that one right um the ergonomics you know they're it's okay it's not bad um i can feel this flexing in my hand so that could pinch you you know if you were really bearing down when you disengage it it does the flipper tab does hit the bar so you have to either time it just right or hold it down at the exact um amount uh or you have to pull it down at the exact at the right spot basically if you pull it down all the way that's when it it hits so you have to like kind of get it right in the middle uh which you figure out pretty quickly like that's easy to, to time and everything especially once you get used to it now the next one uh the onyx plan came with this guy so you'd have gotten this and everything else we've shown so far if you'd have gotten the onyx plan which is the premium plan 
and this is the Nest Street. So I do like the Nest Street. I featured it on the channel a couple times. It is a, in my opinion, a great thumb stud action knife with incredible, incredible ergonomics. This thing is just like hand melting. The way this swells up, it just fits so good in the hand. This is a knife you could bear down on, like meaning like long-term. The blade steel is S35VN on a Nesmuk blade shape, which is some of like an upswept sheep's foot. Um, so a Nesmuk blade shape with a good tip for utility cuts. The way this angles down, you're gonna be able to, you know, basically use the tip for just about any type of cutting that you would need a tip for. And then while it has belly, you know, for cutting down on a surface or whatever you wanna do, you know, with, you know, a belly, it also isn't too crazy where you're gonna be able to stay into a cut really nicely without fear of slipping out. Good access to the lock bar very smooth on the drop you can tell it's riding on ceramic caged bearings i can reverse flick off of the blade because of the coating and because the blade you know sticks out enough uh handle material is black micarta and it's only going to get blacker as time goes on i know it's gray right now but that's the way black micarta is deep carry clip uh not inset and it has button screws so that would be a negative in my opinion but you know it, it's okay I, i'm sure it works just fine plunge grind is okay i mean you got a couple good sharpenings in there you know i like them bigger but that's that's just fine it's not gonna you you'll at least get a few a couple sharpenings in you'll be able to reprofile it hopefully without hitting anything all in all though yeah this is a good one this is definitely like i said a um a good pocket knife and the nesmuk you know, the, the Nesmuk design is an outdoor style knife design. Uh, well, it was a fixed blade design at first, but you know, this having some influence from that, obviously being the Nest Street, you know, I'm sure it would be pretty decent at light duty outdoor activities. Okay, so these next packages, this it would be a separate month. However, I don't have, as we were looking at with this one, I don't have all the other stuff. I only have two items from the Onyx plan. So this is only two items and then a ton of other stuff. So this is just a glimpse into what you might get. Um, if they wind up sending the other stuff, you know, I'll make sure I feature it in a video. But as far as right now goes, this is what I have. So we have, so we have the QSP Hawk in copper carbon fiber i personally like copper carbon fiber i think it looks good it's very eye-catching um you know i've worked with copper my whole life you know in construction and stuff so it's always been appealing to me and, and you know i know it's a valuable material the the carbon fiber carbon fiber is just such a tough material um so it's so so damn tough anyways the action on this is really good thumb stud placement really nice flipper tab great detent love 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 this blade shape beautiful satin finish s35 vn um, well placed thumb studs with good texturing too detent is not strong but it, it's it's good like i could I, I could fail it if i wanted to but with very little effort it's going to come out so you give it a, any sort of gas at all it's flying so good detent um the ergos really really well done i mean this is slightly contoured it's a great size you know you can get a full four finger grip being that the handles are straight back it's going to distribute you know the pressure across your palm nicely um access to the lock bar is really really well done um not the drop the drop shuttiest but i can swing it down and it also probably just needs some oil let me oil it real quick oh my goodness look at this now ha <laughs> That's all it needed. It just needed a little Earl. Just need some oil on that damn detent ball. And that's it. Bang, man. Wow. This thing got like five times smoother. Holy cow, man. Oil, man. Make sure you guys lubricate your detent and bearings. Look at that. So I take it back. It is definitely drop shutty. Okay. So let's get to the next one, which is the Starhawk. So... The Starhawk, I have featured on the channel in the past. It is a, I believe I gave one away to the page or to either the Patreons or the members. Um, so it has a titanium frame lock with this bronzed anno finish with a stone wash. 
Um, obviously, it's going to come in many different colors like Wee Knife Co. usually does. And I love Wee Knife Co.'s, this finish that they do on their titanium with the anodization. So you have a spay point blade and 20 CV steel. Um, and you do have a fuller for the reverse flick. And you have the flipper tab. This is a very premium knife using 20 CV and titanium. It does have a titanium backspacer with a hidden lanyard. I like the way they do that when they put the lanyard back there. Um, and then a titanium milled pocket clip. Um, no, is there milling on the inside? No milling on the inside, uh, but you know, it's not a heavy knife, so it doesn't matter. But there is some nice milling on the edges to create a little texture and a chamfer. Um, it is more of a three finger knife, so it is a compact knife, but this, in my opinion, is a pinch grip knife. You know, one, you're gonna use the belly. And spay points were originally designed to spay animals. Um, obviously, you know, every blade shape had a purpose originally, but then, you know, obviously a lot of them, a lot of people realized how useful those designs or shapes were for a lot of other stuff. Um, a spay point is great because you can basically use the, um, the edge without fear of cutting into the thing that you're trying to cut, you know, or... Like, you know, especially when it's like when you're um, spaying an animal or something like that, or, or if you're doing something on an animal where you don't want to penetrate areas that you're not cutting and you want to cut specific areas, you know, it makes it to where you can kind of get behind something without the fear uh, of, you know, clipping it. But that was basically the idea behind it was, you know, to be a safe cutter, you know, uh, for animals and you know, while that is the case, it actually makes for a good utility cutter or package opener. All belly, so you do have the belly, you know, for slicing things, you know. Um, access to the lock bar it does have a lot of texturing on it, which I do appreciate. And it's decent access. It could use more, but it's not, it's not bad. I wouldn't call it a negative. I want to put some oil on this one as well. So after oiling it, it definitely got a bit smoother. And, you know, it just has some breaking in to do, um, of course. But it's a compact little folder. It is a premium knife. And like I said, it does come in a lot of different flavors. Um, I'm not sure if in this package, if everybody's going to get the same exact color or if, it is, you know, if they do switch out the colors or not. But titanium hardware all the way around. T8 titanium hardware. Love, love, love to see that. PVD coating on the blade. And, you know, yeah, um, we knife come in. They do a killer job. So there you guys go. Like I said, I will link Monthly Knife Club down in the description if you want to sign up to one of their tiers. Like I said, they have many different tiers just depending on how much you would like to spend or just click the link and read about it so you can check it out so you can read more details about it. Uh, but yeah, there you guys go. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.